So now it's going to be Saturday. What do I do on Saturday? I can hear people talking. Come to think of it. By the way, you know Mitsuru Kubicho, the student council president? Or she's going to study abroad after high school. Probably to prepare herself to run for the Kurijo group in the future. Wow. This is gonna be like the plot line of stuff leading up to this boss. Wow, that's crazy. It's like she lives in a different world from us plebs. She's staying in a dorm, right? How does a rich girl want to live in a dump like that? Hmm. Your her family made her? Understand how us ordinary folks live or something? Her spell is wrong. Alright, well, time to do stuff. But yeah, I might not be streaming too much longer here. Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows? But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Orochan, shake. Oh, what? and I remember hearing a thing about a pupper with this game because it's kind of hard to avoid that. Dog? So I'm pretty sure this pupper is important. Oh, welcome back. Hey there. Uh, can I pet him? I'm still looking into adopting a new dog. Sure, go on, Korochan. Still on the lookout. You know how to say hi, right? Very cute dog. His name's Koromaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest of the Naganaki shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. <laughs> oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he... What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman You gotta love today? tropes where we characters notice something and then say, nope, it's nothing. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Korochan. You'll love to see it. Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories Whoa. according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. I'm not going to memorize we them. Can think of it like their no class chance. Or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far and well, oh, he just means boss shadows, right? My special Why are you classes. so excited about it? So... Ah, right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? I get it. There are 12 in all, and 8 we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. 
<laughs> You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? <sighs> Puzzle pieces are falling into place one by one. Those large shadows that only appear on the full moon. I wonder what their purpose is. We have a long road ahead of us. All right. Well, catch up on thing Bob's here that I'm now behind on. Let's see here. So in terms of history stuff, Reggie Bump didn't even get anything about Vietnam. Never mind the American Revolution. I think we might have gotten a little bit here in Canada about American Revolution. We didn't get anything about Vietnam. I had to learn about that from history YouTube videos what was going on there and did i no we uh well a little bit it was discussed a little bit in my university history class on the uh, history of east asia from 1500 to present i think there was like a single slide on it during one of the one of the thing bobs not even like a full day dedicated to it i don't think but yeah and hello hello is there samurai always a persona trend that the male character gets good at cooking but yeah, let's see here. And I don't know if the priest died in front of the dorm. It might have just been somewhere on that route. But yeah, yeah, worst trope there, Guzma. Like, it's definitely, definitely nothing. But yeah, let's see here. Get caught up on the Tales Symphonia anime yet? I watched episode four. Turned out I already had watched episode three, and I just forgot that I did. And the scene that you were referring to, I just, like, forgot that I had seen it. So I rewatched that specific bit. And then moved on to episode four. So I've completed like the first arc then. This is the case. Um, can I give all my money to that guy yet? Like. Oh, I, I can give him some more money. Here. Hi. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Not tripping with the silhouette, right? I don't think so. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. Yeah, it still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. Are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Sure. I gave the man 10,000 yen. That's yes, very good. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. There we go. Oh wait, it's Saturday. Is there anything that I really want to do here social stat-wise, honestly? Like, that one page that I was doing, I was looking at. Thursday is the day that I can get my charm up with High School of Youth. So... Sure. Wait. Why did I think it was Thursday? What, what is going on in my head? It's Saturday. Yeah, it's You're the Answer. So I may as well just go eat seafood. Is what I may as well do, right? I mean, I guess I could hang out with some people in the world, too. I don't think I really need some of my social stats up right now. I'll try to get things up to five, and then I'll just, like, big chill out. Then I'm, like, set up and stuff. I don't know. Or maybe I'll hang out in the dorm shortly after this. I just want to go eat seafood right now. Don't judge me. Wait, it's not one of those days. I'm gonna go hang out in the dorm. What the heck? Is it really? Like, let's see here. The seafood full course is Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. 
And here the answer is Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, so it's not just Wednesday that's my day that I shouldn't try to gain any social stats. It's Wednesday and Saturday that I shouldn't try to gain any social stats in the evening. Okay, so I can burn my Wednesdays and Saturday evenings hanging out with people here. And then, uh, the other days gaining social stats out and about, I'm thinking. I'm just suggest watching the Tales of Hysteria anime after Symphonia, though. I mean, you'll probably never get to playing Tales of Hysteria, but because the anime is based on the game, you would recommend the anime. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Watching the Tales of Hysteria anime is actually what got you into the Tales of Series. Because after that, although you didn't play Tales of Hysteria, end up playing Tales of Hysteria shortly after finishing the Hysteria anime. Nice. Tales of Hysteria anime, the ending was bad. It plays even worse. Everything about Tartarus is such a mystery. How long has it been there? Did it appear in the first place? Yeah, does that count as a spoiler? Mm -hmm. Was it that bad? I'll ever know the answers. I don't know. Um, can I help you? Um, I ran an estimate on the strength of the remaining large shadows that appear during the full moon. As you can probably guess, we're gonna be in for a long, hard fight, but I think we can handle it. It'd be nice if you could tell me like a recommended level or something like that. I'm sure, we'll be fine as long as you keep training and growing stronger with hard risk. So let's do our best. I'm sorry. Thank you right now. If you're looking for someone to talk to, please find someone else. Mm. Real question is, do shadows act independently, or are they working together towards something? In essence, does a group of shadows target a single human and ravage his mind with purpose? Or is each individual shadow simply devouring human minds for their own survival? This is what we must discern. Do I just go to Tartarus one of these days? Like, I'm not going to be streaming for that much longer, I don't think. So should I just make, like, some Tartarus progress and then wrap up the stream? And then if I do end up streaming again tomorrow, I can just make something else. Like, uh... Like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Is that the one main other thing that I have going on right now? Um... Yeah, I think it basically is. Because I have stuff lined up that I want to do at Fragapalooza for this. This will do at Fragapalooza. So yeah, it's basically these two games. I'll do this at Fragapalooza. And I'll schedule a proper day to do this. And I'll do this at Fragapalooza too. Is what I feel like. Well, you know, I, uh... It's not like I'm gonna do all of what's left at Fragapalooza. So I could probably just do this kind of free flow as well if I want to. So I could just casually stream some Elden Ring if I want as well. Could be the case. So... Yeah, it's not like I have to do, like, just Persona 3 for the next little while. Like, it'll still be my main thing that I commit to for the next little bit. Uh, but I don't necessarily have to stream this tomorrow. And since I'm going out to the lake one way or another soonish here anyway, I'm thinking I might just go to Tartarus, explore some of the dungeon, and then uh, just not stream until I'm back on the following weekend anyway. And then, like, I have some time to gain, like, some levels on my own time in Tartarus. That's what I'm thinking here. All right, now let's meet up in the usual place. I'll let the others know. See you there. I think that's what I do today. This makes sense time-wise for real life. But yeah, it's about 20 episodes, you believe. The Warrior's first episode of the second season is just a random thing in Tales of Berseria. <laughs> They're not the heroes we deserve or need or rely upon. They are the heroes we got. <laughs> main character just had a I can fix some date with the main villain. Whoa! For a dozen years in a mini pocket dimension, it came out fine. Also, Major Arcana cards have been added to shuffle time. Oh, cool. It's probably like the two big bosses that I fought, right? Empress, the N, Ag, and Lu of Personas in your position will increase by two. Why don't you just list these full stats? I think that's Endurance, Agility, and Luck. I think is what those stand for, but I'm not entirely certain. Emperor, the strength and magic of your Personas in your position will increase by two. Cool, thanks. I have to think of it. Elizabeth mentioned someone wandering into Tartarus. Missing person. Sometimes you will encounter missing persons who have wandered into Tartarus. Missing persons cannot be rescued after a full moon, so it's best to save anyone you find as soon as possible. Oh, so that's what the time limit is. It's just, like, the full moon date. You can receive a reward at the police station the day after a successful rescue, so don't forget to stop by. You can ask Elizabeth where the missing persons are located. Seek her advice regularly to rescue those who are lost in Tartarus. Okay, interesting. But yeah, I'd still enjoy it. I wouldn't have gotten into the Tales series if you didn't enjoy the Syria anime. Good Fair day. enough. I can't assist you with about missing persons. I can sense a presence. Sense someone. This would be a human presence between Tyrus between floors 48 and 53. Imagine if there was another person that went missing that I just didn't get the update on because I didn't read that poster board. And I would have been able to save a second person here, but I just missed my chance to. I assume that that's not the case, most likely, because this is just like tutorial first one. Also, I could. Do I need to 
find them on that poster board. And I just talked to Elizabeth when I happened to go to Tartarus and she'd let me know where people are anyway. I don't know. Best for you to search the tower and locate them as soon as possible. Need anything else? So 48 and 53. Is that area that I've already explored or is that like... Thanks to Yamagishi, I can explore with you too. But I'd still like to stick to the four-person strategy. Just so we have backup or anyone who could come to our aid in the event of an emergency. And don't forget what happened during the last full moon. We can't leave Yamagishi alone. I'll leave it up That's to you to excuse. decide on the party members. I know you can handle it. Uh, I'm good as is. Let's give it our best. I think I'm good. Changing the party, you can decide who to take into combat at locations where you can change party members, such as the entrance of Tartarus. You can change party members by talking to your teammates or by opening the menu with Y and selecting status. Later. Um, so you don't want to bring a full party, will he be okay? Okay. Status. Oh, they said press Y and click status. What? Is it stats then? I guess it's stats. So you're in the party. You're in the party. You're in the party. Yeah, it's stats, not status. Either I misread that or it gave me a lie right there. So it's just gone forever if you don't see them? I guess so. Those are the serum mechanic is like Xenoblade 2 Blade and Driver, but you could fuse with them? Interesting. Absolutely recommend Tales of the Abyss, though, as the next Tales game when the time comes. Not this year, nor next year, nor the year after that. However long it takes until the next Tales of game, I recommend you play whenever the time comes. Okay. Unless a new Tales of game decides to come out before you have a chance to play Tales of the Abyss. Fair. Do another save now that I'm in Tartarus. Always into another slot. It's 48 and 53. Have I been there? No. Okay. So it's a new area that I'm going to be exploring anyway, so I don't have to backtrack or anything. You have a moment? I'd like to share something I found out about using Theurgy. Theurgy can't be used just any time. user has to reach an emotional peak first. Yeah, we figured that out before. Let's switch to this layout here. In other words, Theurgy can only be used after enough power is built up. Also, how someone builds up this power is different depending on the person. Yeah, if that wasn't like fabric that was armor, you would basically be rocking a solid a snake. Cosplay here. Well, apart from the headphones, just like the that part. Jacket. The I don't know if it'd be called a jacket in this context. Also, someone builds up this power is different depending on the person. For Kirijo Senpai, it's when she inflicts status ailments on an enemy. For Yukari chan, it's when she heals someone. Try a different thing and see what works for different teammates. The RG is very powerful. Definitely want to use it as much as we can. Theurgy Gauge. Your Theurgy Gauge will increase throughout battle whenever you attack or summon a Persona. How much the Theurgy Gauge increases will vary from ally to ally. Acting according to a party member's personality will cause our Theurgy Gauge to increase significantly. Okay, so like it'll say that there for what causes it. Puka also has a Theurgy Gauge. Once it's maxed, you'll be able to activate her Theurgy during a party member's turn. However, a combatant's gauge will stop increasing when they are afflicted with a status ailment. Allies' gauges will drop by half whenever they get KO'd. Okay, interesting. I sent someone on a higher floor. Floor we haven't been to yet, though. Hope we can get there soon. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna do my usual strategy of just like don't fight people for the most part, conserve my SP, and get to like as high of a floor as I can Are get you to. Your health and stamina? And then when I have like free reign to like this is as far as I'm getting, then I can use my SP in battle as I please. Uh -huh. Yeah, imagine just not saving anyone and the landscape is just blank. Sucks for them. Therian's here. Oh, there's a dead end. Should be able to get past it. Could he check? Yeah, because we took on a new boss recently. Here it is. Please watch out. Just during the last stream. Yeah, August 8th would be the case. If you're down to do it. August 8th sometime in the afternoon. <sighs> Look at the shaking has subsided. Is everyone alright? path towards the staircase has opened up. You can advance further now. You don't know what's waiting ahead, so please be careful going forward. Right. Made it to the next stage. See how far my fist can carry me. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid enemies, get as far as I can, have my SP conserved for potential mini-boss battle. Thank you. I remember how helpless I felt being here alone. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, that you're not gonna, like, follow up from that or anything. I'm just gonna say I remember how scared and helpless I felt here the first time. Mitsuru's persona was always more geared for combat. Don't be afraid to have her in the front lines. I just didn't want to interrupt <laughs> you don't that dialogue. Need to go easy on me. I'll try not to disappoint. 
Sure, I have a whole bunch of these Twilight Fragments. What's this? Something really cool? Watch it be some crap. Fast heal. Skill card? I don't know if that's a good or a bad one, but hey, I'll take it. Wee. Woo! That was close. I'm not going to break that other thing. Not breaking that one. And we sure can go up the stairs. Sure. Hey, there's a treasure chest. Wait. I want. Thank goodness you can open these from the side. Turquoise. I think that's just something I sell, right? Taking it out? Nah, I don't think so. That teleporter okay. can take us to the entrance. Try to remember where it is. I don't need to go back to the entrance. Oh, can we go up those stairs? Yeah, Fuka. Oh, I felt helpless when I'm here alone. Oh, <laughs> like a treasure chest. Yeah. <laughs> immediate first sentence. Immediate following sentence, not first sentence. I think these guys are weak to light. Do I still have a light persona? Hold on. No, how do I check my party members info? Uh, I still have light on something around. Here, right? Uh oh. Wait. Oh, I was looking across my allies' personas. I'm sure I still have light on someone here. Oh, is it? Weak to different thing? Hold on. I'm just gonna look up. Persona 3 reload. Precious hand. I think it comes up as IGN. Whatever, I'll click it. I guess. Let's see here. Um, is weak to dark. Okay. Do I have dark on one of my thinger bobs? I might, I might not. So, after weakening enemies are inflicting an ailment, her will burns brighter. Blizzard Edge deals severe ice damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. High chance of fight. Okay, interesting. So you're all about weakening kudos with stuff like this. My chance of charm one bow. Interesting. Okay, so wait. So my thing, Rebob, is uh after summoning a persona, power within gradually enhances. Okay, so my personality here is the same. It's just like the persona attack. That's different. Cadenza restores 50% HP and raises the accuracy of Asian of all allies. Jack Brothers deals medium almighty damage to all foes. High chance of down. So, it's just whenever I'm doing things that summon a persona. Whatever I'm doing this stuff. Power gradually increases. I do have, with my level 20 there, I don't have anything better, right? Yeah, I don't have anything better. That's gonna A, huh? All right, time to embrace my inner Texan and yeehaw on this guy. Oh, I didn't get the critical look. That means I probably missed this. Yep, sucks to suck. You'll love to see it. Well, music's so good. Yeah, have for the rest of the night. Take care and have a good rest of the night stream. Thanks again for helping me out. I'll reach out to you and recommending you. Keep updated. Stuff goes on. Okie doke. Sounds good. Hope you have an awesome rest of the night there, Guzma. Take care. I don't think I'm taking you down now. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've had to do a decent bit of work for those Creole tomatoes. But they are developing really nicely. They got lots of fruit on them. What is my RNG? The enemy Looks like the fight's over. Screw that. Now then, missed let's get back twice. To work. Jeez. Could have gotten like a whole bunch of experience, but nope. Oh, he's had to miss a whole bunch. Excellent. Looks like we Okay, let's go. Head up. So between 48 and 53. All right, and there's a mini boss here. Please be careful. <laughs> That's not what the subtitle said. Because you know, the gatekeeper won't be an easy fight. You can do this though. I'll do my best to support you from here. A full analysis be able to give you a complete breakdown of enemy weaknesses on the spot. Remember that I can use the energy as well. Hopefully it'll come in handy. Well, this is it. Stay safe and good luck, team. Come here if you need me. Oracle. Oh, so you're called Oracle. Just like uh, Futaba in P5. Spooka's Theurgy Gauge is max. Press that to activate your Theurgy Oracle during the party's turn. Okay, so it's just that that attack is called Oracle. The Oracle will benefit the party in battle with effects such as HP recovery, SP recovery, and stat buffs. 
Or color can be activated during any party member's turn. Try to use it when you feel the time is right. Interesting. This is... I sent someone on a higher floor. The floor I haven't been to yet, though, so I hope we can get there soon. Alright, let's go back. But yeah, oh wait, actually, you know by chance how much longer one will fully grow and develop to be ready for eating? Hmm. Things have been developing there for a little while now, so I don't know. A couple weeks the first one might be ready? I don't know. Not entirely sure. Um. Whoops. Dang it. I checked progress. Okay. I was actually trying to go to the teleporter. The original one of Fuka in the original one of Oracle's Fuka effects is killing all of your team. <laughs> is that someone on a higher floor? I haven't been to yet. Yada yada. Let's see here. Time is at 1.32. Be strong, please make sure you're right before fighting. Let's do it. Alright, let's do this. Are right, you ready? We're forcing our way through. Okay, so yeah, so I can do the Oracle thing for Bob. I don't think I need to right now. Still setting up. It'll take a little more time. What's the plan here? So should I just do like this for now? I can't go wrong with doing this. If I fail this and have to redo it, and then I just know they're weak. on my second go onward, then it's not a big deal. Ugh. Let's just undo that. Not reload, okay. <laughs> I figured when you said in the original. Um, sure. Whole bunch of debuffs onto you for now. And we'll do a full analysis. Be nice if I could just do it from the get go. Oh, you're just gonna keep on buffing, huh? That one new dudo that I fused here. I mean, I could do that. Whoops, not what I actually wanted to do. I want for his defense. I want to see info. That's the race and allies attack. Yeah, so maybe I should just like do this. Oh, no attack up for you. All stat increases nullified. Please don't wreck me. Not too bad. Yeah, so okay. just on this one Here's specific enemy, back. it's not even everyone. Darkness, huh? I'll hit them where it hurts. I'll try this for fun. Hit those guys. Okay, you're just gonna keep on doing that. You reflect? Wait. Oh, I'm probably not gonna want to do that then. I'll do this for science. Okay, you're weak to that. Nice. Okay. In that case, we do this. Zap. And then we do this. Switch over here. And then we are going to go over to my doodle to yeehaw on this guy. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. I'm gonna embrace him. It's just yeehaws here. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean... How about I do this? Yeah, you're not someone that's gonna be taken away. That attack up buff. I mean, I could, but I could also just do this at the same time. And unlike that precious hand, I'm not missing you, luckily. Thank goodness for that. Okay. You know how I was mentioning earlier this stream how I kind of like to do that without even noticing? Or like my stash. Okay, you just summon more, but that's not a big deal. That's yeah, lowering a foe's defense. I don't need a charm. Time to take action. Here, just... Yeah, so this won't be that bad. We'll win this turn now. So pass over to my dudo. 
Also, his thing is after strengthening himself, his fighting spirit rises. Interesting. So things like, uh, he doesn't really have anything for that right now, does he? I am blind. I might be blind, but... Yeehaw! It's Halloween. Alright, so we'll end this on shuffle time now as well, right? Will be the case. A lot of EXP. Sweet. Does uh, Junpei still get experience in the background uh -oh. or no? Still, huh? the, looks like not. Okay. There's Aki Eko. That could lower. Bow's attack. <sighs> Can't let my guard down. Especially not around those gatekeepers. I've never seen you with your guard down though. Even in the dorm. What would happen to this dialogue if I had Junpei here instead? When we're up late on a mission. I've never even seen you yawn, much less doze off. Then the next day, you're all dressed up and drinking black tea before heading to school 15 minutes later. Um, I follow her lead. No. Once it becomes a habit, it's all second nature. Besides, why don't you find it offensive if I were to take it easy? After all, I'm the one asking you all to attempt the impossible when taking part in these club activities. Huh? Asking us, huh? What's the matter? Oh, um, nothing. Come on, leader. We've beaten them, so let's move on. Alright, clock's ticking. Yeah, Yukari's still a little bit sketched out about the whole kind of and being coerced into seas. I'll let you know when I pinpoint their location. Okay, um, I'm gonna just cut off that dialogue, though. Boxing shoes. Oops, I think this armor, uh, I guess that's good for him. I mean, uh, sure, fine, you can have it. it. No substitute for training. But I'll take solid gear where we can find it, too. I mean, could I put it on? I'm technically the more important character, because we game over if I fall, but, like, uh, SP restoring item, nice. I do use a decent few SP restoring items when I'm grinding on my own time between sessions. We're doing well. We're but I try not to do pace. too, too much. Like, I'll probably do a decent bit this time now that I've unlocked a new area and need a pair for the next new boss. My abilities are much better suited for the front lines. And all that. I want to minimize my time that I need to spend in Tartarus, like in terms of like the daytime the slots that I need to use. I mean, it's not like the evenings are as important compared to the day. Like in Persona 5, you can do a lot during the day and a lot during the evenings. The evenings of this is basically just like raise your social stats or do like these hangout thing revobs. Not really much in the way of social links that I can level up during the evenings in this game. Seem like. Oh. There are so many twists. So doing as much as I can in Tartarus or one calls probably isn't as important as making progress in a dungeon in Persona 5 in a time slot, but. But I still want to do that and be efficient where I can, you know. All right, so here's the person. I need a rescue. I'm getting the reading of a person. Let's go secure them right away. It's a good thing that it alerts you when you reach the right floor. <laughs> Otherwise, with me bum rushing, just getting to the stairs and going up when I find them. It is possible that there could have been a missing person down one of the other tunnels I didn't go down. And I just missed them. Sure, there's someone here. Check everywhere, please. This brings us to the 50th floor. Still a long ways to go. Oh, a and a treasure chest. Okay, it doesn't show me the missing person, so. It shows me the chest, but no missing person. I'll just go the way of the chest for now. Tartarus. Also known as the deep abyss of the underworld. What secrets lie here, nobody knows. Yep. Oh, well, I didn't realize there was gonna be a follow-up sentence. Sorry about that. Omugi water. The best kind of water. Forget Shadow natural spotted. spring water. Or reverse osmosis water, as like so many water companies are addicted to calling their water when it literally just means filtered. Um, it's all about a moogie water. Um. Must be one of the people who went missing. You need to provide treatment immediately. Please return to the entrance as soon as you can. Um, ask for an escort. Sure, take back to the entrance. I can run up these floors again. Understood. Only for you at the entrance. 
And Reggie Bum have to head out. Okie doke. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Extracurricular excellence. Rescued a missing person. I just got a Steam achievement. But yeah, as you need to prepare for watching Deadpool 3. Nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Have an awesome rest of the... I almost said stream. Here, <laughs> Reggie Pump. Welcome back. It looks like you're able to rescue a missing person. We have... We can have them stay here for now. I'll see them off properly when the time comes. <sighs> I tried another search, but I'm still not picking up anyone else's presence inside. Maybe we've rescued everybody who accidentally ended up in Tartarus. Nice. Um, I wonder what happens if you, like, ask for an escort. Oh, and I can just resume from 50? Even though I don't think there was a teleporter on that floor? Yeah, that'd be great. Can I stay for, for you to traverse or just follow my directions? So I just go to 50? 